I am Jamna Rani, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science. Now I explain about scheduling in operating system. CPU scheduling. So OS is a multi-programming concept. Multi-programming means more than one process executed at the same time. So how is the OS to decide which of the several tasks to take off a queue? So the answer is scheduling. Sch scheduling uh, is deciding which threads are given access to resources from moment to moment. So this picture explains the CPU working process. Uh, if uh, the tasks are IO request and then uh, child process executions and then interrupt occurs. Schedule, what is the and what is important in a scheduling algorithm? So minimize a response times, elapsed time to do an operations, that is job. Response time is what is the user sees, time to echo keystroke in editor, time to complete a program, real time task must meet deadlines imposed by world. Maximize the throughput, jobs per second. Throughbits, uh, throughput means uh, how many tasks executed, that is job executed in a particular time, that is called throughput. So uh, we increase the maximized throughput by using the scheduling algorithm. So jobs per uh, second, throughput related to response time but not identical. Minimizing response time will lead to more context switching than if you maximize only if throughput. Minimize overhead uh, as well as the efficient use of resources. Fairness. Share CPU among users in uh, some equitable way, not just minimizing average response time. scheduling algorithm so so many algorithm we can use in scheduling algorithm so the first one is the first come first served that is fcfs example so which process arrived first that process is executed that is called first come first serve scheduling method example three process arrive in order p1 p2 p3 so the b1 first time 24 b2 first time 3 and then b3 first time so waiting time is uh, P1 is 0, P2 24, P3 27. So completion time, so first P, uh, P1, so P1 24, P2 27 and then P3 30. So we can calculate average waiting time and then completion times. So average waiting time is 17 and then completion time is 27. So wait if the order had been P2, B3 and then P1. Second method is a round robin scheduling. So round robin scheme. Each process get a small unit of CPU time. That is quantum. It is called uh, quantum time. So usually 10 to 100 milliseconds. So after quantum expires, the process is printed and added to the end of the ready queue. Suppose n process in ready queue and the time quantum is QMS. Uh, Each process gets 1 by n of the CPU times in chance of the most QMS. What is the maximum waiting time for each process? So no process waits more than n minus q time units. Performance depends on the size of q. Small size q overlived and the large size q is FCFs. Example for example of RR method that is our round robin method. So the quantum time is 4. So P is uh, 3 process and P1, P2, P3. So, burst time 24, uh, the 3 and 3, uh, the GAN chart. So, each process executed only 4 uh, quantum times. After that, it finished the 4 quantum times, executed to next until, uh, so the process executed until all process executed, completed. So, thank you.